Hi, welcome back to another video about Eti Spice. So this is the part 2 of the oscillator. In the previous video, I already introduced about the circuit of the VM bridge oscillator and in this video, we will simulate that VM bridge oscillator with Eti Spice. So as you could see, the circuit has no difference compared to what I demonstrated in the PowerPoint. The only difference is um, there will be some things related to the simulation. If you don't understand how to import an operational amplifier from a third party design, please refer to my video. I have videos about that. One more thing, dot param dot transient dot transient is for simulating the circuit in the temp domain and the AC decade is for simulate the circuit in the frequency domain. In case you don't understand dot param dot trend dot ac please also refer to my previous videos i have all of the videos to explain how to draw the circuit what does it mean in what situation we should use dot param and how to use the dot trend dot ac and how to import the third party devices in this video i will only focus on how to simulate the vm bridge oscillator so let's run. Oh, before running the simulation, let's review the whole thing again. So I put the formula for calculating the frequency of the oscillation we will obtain at the output here. And that frequency is designed by the resistor R3, R4, C1, and C2. In case, if we have the R3 equal to R4 and equal to 1 kilo ohm, on the other hand, we have the capacitor C1 equal to C2 and equal to 0 0.159 microfarad. The frequency we should obtain is around 1000 hertz or 1 kilohertz. That will be the frequency, the oscillation we obtain at the output. So let's run and see. And here I put the frequency domain around like 5 millisecond. And if you do some math calculation with the frequency of the oscillation around like 1 kilohertz, the time period of one, the time period of the oscillation will be one millisecond. So with five millisecond window, we will see at least five periods. Let's run the simulation. Nothing happened. Let's see the output. There's no oscillation. It's only a DC voltage. So doesn't mean that I do something wrong or the theory is not correct. No, everything is correct. The only thing we have to pay attention to do when we simulate a circuit in the edge device is whenever we use any devices, everything is assumed to be ideal. Ideal is equal to no noise in any components. When there's no noise, there will be no oscillation because actually an oscillator is like a very 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 narrow filter so if you have a noise the noise will have a frequency span almost like a white noise where it has the signal at every frequency and if that noise go through such a filter or go through an oscillator or in our case, most specific is the VN bridge oscillator. That filter will filter out only a specific frequency, and that filter frequency is designed by this circuit, as we calculated here. The frequency which is filtered out to the output is at around one kilohertz. That's why we need to put a, what is this? We need to put a noise or we need to have some excitation. This might not be a noise because I just put a voltage and a pulse signal. If you want to understand what, how to use the later parameter of the pulse in the voltage source, please refer to my previous video. I also demonstrating the meaning of those parameters and 
how to open the window. Right click and you will can open the window of the water source. Now let's run our simulation. There's no difference between this circuit and the previous circuit that I showed you. The only difference is I put in the circuit one excitation source in order to create like some noise or some excitation to the signal in order to filter out something. So let's run. We also run in the time domain simulation. Run it again. We are running this simulation, so we don't care about this circuit. The circuit doesn't have the excitation. We can close it. Yes. And here is our window for simulation. Nothing happened. We need to measure. Let's measure the output signal. Oh. We see oscillation. Oscillation is means like a sinusoidal signal because sinusoidal signal oscillate up down, up down, and up down. Let's check if our oscillation has the frequency around like I put here again the frequency around one kilohertz. Then one period would be one millisecond. This is uh, the second cursor. And let's attach another. We have two cursor, and let's see one period. So the difference in the horizontal is almost like one millisecond. This is what we want, right? We want to achieve an oscillation at one kilohertz with the VM bridge oscillator with this kind of configuration, and it's correct. Uh, in order to check more precise whether we have the oscillation at the 1 kilohertz, we can do the AC simulation. In order to do that, let's deactivate the time domain simulation by replace the dot with the semicolon and activate the AC analysis. Changing the semicolon to the dot will activate the AC analysis. And the uh, information about our IC analysis is that this is will be like a sweep in decade. Each decade we have 1000 points and the frequency will sweep from 0.1 hertz to 1 millihertz. Let's run the simulation. Nothing happened. We need to measure the output. Okay. It's quite confusing. Let's add another plot and measure the output again. I want to have the amplitude in this plot and the phase in the other plot. So I just have to delete the phase, keep the amplitude and delete the amplitude, keep the phase. And let's measure. So as you could see, this is the peak demonstrating our oscillation. As I say, oscillator is only like a filter. It will filter out our signal at this range. We need to be like, yeah, the top. So at this top, we have one kilohertz, almost one kilohertz. This is why it's correct. And the phase is almost like minus 180 degree. According to the back Holson criterion, we will have the oscillation if the loop gain has the magnitude of 1 and the phase shift is around minus 180 degree for the positive feedback. And in this case, as you could see, this is a positive feedback. This is a positive feedback. See, this is the positive feedback. And the rest is like the configuration to achieve the three amplification. And uh, so this is the end of the simulation for the VM bridge oscillator. If you find that the video is helpful, please give me a like or subscribe and see you in the next topic. If you want any topic um, and I can do it, just recommend and I will try to do it my best. See you. Goodbye.